Good evening. Let me uh, first by start by uh, thanking you all for this opportunity. Let me clarify something. I'm not a politician. I'm a uh, pastor. I'm a preacher. I preach peace. I preach unity. I know nothing of, of the politics side, so I try to stay out of that. But when this came about, <clears throat> This word unity struck me and it struck me hard because when I when I think about it, I go to the word of the Lord on it, even, even God says in the word Mark 3 and 24 and 25 talks about how divided houses and divided communities and divided kingdoms can't stand. I understand that. I have a lot of friends in this place tonight, people that I've done business with, people that I know. And even after this is over, I'm still going to be friends and, and, and associate with these people. What we got to do is we got to learn how to respect each other's opinion. As Christians, we got to learn how to continue to love and to cherish each other. Why am I here speaking on unity? In 1979, there was a young boy who went to high school. He was called to the gymnasium. And as he was called to the gymnasium, they were sitting around, and as they were sitting around, the principal came on the other call to say that um, there's going to be a vote as to whether or not we're going to consolidate our schools. There was an uproar with the students, there was an uproar with parents business people because that was something that they just didn't want to have happen. Well, we went through the process, we went through the process, years, planning, processing, planning, processing, and the end result was that four years later, in 1982, this city consolidated their schools. Um, I'm very much so where of school consolidation because I'm one of those students. I went through school consolidation. Viola High School, Viola Backends. We had a rivalry against the Unidella Blue Devils. We consolidated our school system. The first graduating class from Viola was in 1982. Now that school is called Dooley County Bobcats, but I'm, I'm here to say, on the positive side for you, I, I know all of you got questions. I know all of you got concerns. But from the Christian side of you, and for those that are non-Christian, from the, from the compassionate of you, all, I, all I'm asking is, sit down and reason together. Because the Bible tells us that we have to reason together. This is a hard pill to swallow. But we really have to sit down and reason together. That's what the Word of God tells us. It compels us. So if anyone asks you, if, say, well, what side is he on? I've been through this. If I have to vote, I, I'm going to call one person out because I love it. And I know he loves me. And whether I vote yes or no, that ain't going to change a thing about that. That's not that. A lot of you in here who knows me, I, Wayne, I know Wayne. We've done business together. When I vote yes for consolidation, that changes nothing. That's my belief, because I've been there. I believe it can work. So each man is entitled to his or her own belief. So what we need to do is we need to reason together. That's all we need to do, reason together. And that, that's all I leave you, because I know this ain't a sermon I can't preach if I had to. But this ain't the place. And I'm, I'm on my way to Bible study, but I, I just leave that with you. I just leave that with you. Let's, let's reason together. That's all I'm asking, to reason together.